dreary, dank, snowy wastelands of Buffalo Sunday afternoon. Yeah, it is afternoon. I do realise it's been quite some time since I've done one of these. Uh, mostly because I ran out of ideas and I'm sure you're all bored with my prattling so I stopped prattling for a while. We have been and gone and come back from Hawaii to be so lazy and edit some together so you can have a see of what we saw or what we did while we were there. Maybe I'll do that over Christmas. So the purpose of today's video is uh, another unboxing. Yes, I know, very boring, two boxes, three boxes, unload stuff, blah, blah, blah. Well, this isn't quite so blah, blah, blah. I'm a Brit and I live abroad. And there are just certain things that you can't get. And in just certain things that are not Christmas, unless you have it from your childhood. So today is an unboxing. And actually today is a two unboxing. Um, and I'm looking at them, they're off to your left, my right. Um, one is Christmas, and then I have a, a box of British sweets, English sweets. Uh, these are chocolates, and it's, uh, I put the links to both in the description to, below. Um, and these are things I was running out of. I'd done the recent unboxing of uh, all the, the pressed sweets or non-chocolate based sweets. So these are uh, Cadbury's and Mars bars and all that kind of thing. I might do another a very small um, unboxing video later, uh, which will be along the same line. It'll be sort of a, a part B to this part A of another bunch of Christmas stuff. We had a, a, an unfortunate incident recently. My good lady wife acquired um, recipes of both Christmas cake and Christmas pudding from my mother and has made them on multiple years with no issues. They're as close as you're going to get to them being of the original without them being made by the original person. Well, we went downstairs recently to start digging out the, the joyous tradition of digging out all the Christmas ornaments and trees and, and all that good gubbings. And I came across the uh, aforementioned Christmas pudding, which was maturing nicely. Uh, but unfortunately, not only was it maturing nicely, but it was also growing nicely. And um, there was a nice, oh, I don't know, tennis ball sized slot on there covered in the grey grime. So. We took a look at it and decided, you know what, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe we'll just cut around it and we'll be fine. And then we watched something on the internet, a YouTube channel, and I think it was a brain food thing today I found out. And it was all about, can you eat food after it has got mouldy? And what I didn't realise, and the biggest thing that came away from that, is what you see on the surface of any food that has gone mouldy isn't just the mould. It actually burrows down through. And when he started mentioning how far and fast it burrows through and the kind of distances depending on the um, hardness of the food. So if you consider something like a hard cheese and the, the inability to actually drill into it versus something like bread or in this case a steamed Christmas pudding, we suddenly realised that um, not only was the top and a good say 15 to 20% compromised, that it was probably it was all compromised. So we threw it out. So we unfortunately had to throw out the Christmas pudding. So there may well be, and there is a reason why I'm going around in circles here, there well may be a part B, a very short film, where I unbox a certain amount of stuff that I ordered along with the Christmas pudding. So without further ado, now I'm going to move you, because that is the kind of person I am, and we will start with the unboxings. So without further ado, Christmas says he now checking his phone. Christmas. Christmas part two, actually. I'll come back to that. Actually, no, we will. We'll do that first. So this is actually the second one. I had decided originally this year that I wasn't going to order a huge amount of stuff. Twins are big enough as it is. But, and reaching, uh, uh, patience, patience, I decided to order a few pieces of those must-have things that make Christmas Christmas, at least in my world. This was before box, this is actually the second box, so before this one. So the first thing we ordered, or I ordered, was a bag of Quality Street. Now, don't panic too much if you can't see this too well, I'll take pictures. So I went for a slightly smaller version this year. Um, uh, as you will see, that was a silly thing to do. But yes, Quality Street. Let's see, tossing it rudely aside. The next thing is Mr. Kipling's Christmas Slices. These are 
uh, small pieces of uh, fruitcake, British fruitcake, with marzipan and I'm going to assume the fondant type icing on top. And I love these things. Um, unfortunately, when I went back to get box, would actually be box three's worth, there weren't any left. It shows you how popular they are. Um, but I like these things. These make up for sometimes not having Christmas cake or they're a nice controlled slice. Again, I will put a picture up. And then, of course, the last, the, the piece de resistance, the mince pies. These are Walker's mince pies and they are um, pastry with sweet mince meat. It's not um, like beef or pork or anything. It's actually things like raisins and currants in a, in a kind of sweet liquor with bits of candied fruit and whatever. It's very nice. And again, there are six of these. Oh. Uh, well, there's something you don't expect. I, as you saw, I split the box and I opened the box and there is a pen. They actually send me a pen. This is the British Food Shop, which is actually where I bought the next lot from and where I bought the first lot from. So yeah, I got a lovely little thank you card. I'll put a picture in there. You can put that. That's the receipt. And then it is well packed with big poppers, adult poppers as it were. Wow. They didn't mess around with the packing, that's for sure. So the first thing to come out, the wine gums. I like wine gums. Nice soft fruit, flavoury type things. Why not? It's always that good time. I'll do pictures of this as well. So I will put this down here. Now, maybe I should split this box ahead of time and come back for it. Can we guess what this is? Well, I'm sure you probably can if you are, uh, and no, it's not going to break. Ta da More Quality Street. This was on offer at the time, so I decided to. Shake those maracas. Post Christmas, there's a little treat. That time of year when everybody brings in that last bit of candy that they don't want to eat. So, let's put that down. Shouldn't play with knives, children. Okay, so I'll put it down somewhat out of sight and I'll bring up one of each. Because of actually, of, of all that's in here, there are three things. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh dear. Tube of Smarties. These are the British, uh, almost M&Ms. So these are the British M&M type things, Nestle Smarties. And they're Cocoa, Cocoa Plan. Okay then. Uh, Smarties. I have two tubes of those. Then we have fruit pastels. So I have two of these. Because again, if you're gonna gonna gain weight at Christmas, you might as well do it in style. And then one of my personal favourites, jelly tots. It's fantastic stuff. They really are. I love them. So I actually went a little mad at this point and bought four tubes of those for a total of eight tubes of goodies. Then, the last piece, unless of course I want to go to the Ahmed School of uh, Bombs, and then I will kill myself or I'll kill you one or the other. That's a Jeff Dunham reference for those that don't get it. And then the last thing from this particular box is Christmas crackers. And these are Tom Smith, although I do admit from my time in England I don't remember this name, but anyway, eight premium crackers. So that's the first box. Now I'm going to tidy up and I'll get the second box out. Box number two, doesn't look like very much, it is fairly well wrapped. Interesting little sticker on the front, attention, keep me cool, chilled goods. Not chilled goods, don't buy refresh stuff to come across the mail, and not that you'll see it here, Royal Mail. Remember the best way to get into these things. So I'm going to try and save the bag. Could be useful. Out of the box. There we go. And there we go. Jolly Goods. Jollygoods.co. Wonderful place to buy chocolate. The stuff has been a little beaten up, but believe me, I don't think it will have uh, 
been too adversely affected. So, it's cardboard. We will open up the box. Ooh. There we go. That's a bit better. You can actually see it. So, a little bit of packing, and then <clears throat> lots and lots of good stuff. There we go. Now, we'll do this. There's ten separate bars, so I won't spend too long on these otherwise we'll be here until Christmas. So we'll do this a bit quickly. And I have three of each, so we'll just go on each. A bag, I'm gonna find some other way to display these things. A bag of minstrels, galaxy chocolate covered in a crispy shell. Jelly tots, fairly self-evident. This is the more controlled amount. Run around, likewise. All right, number three. Rolos. Yes, I know you can get them here, but they're made by the Hershey people and I hate them with a passion. Mars bars, right way up, of course, would always be fantastic. And who doesn't love a Mars bar? Boost bar, another odd British chocolate. Entertainingly, this one has a price of 55p. When you work that out into dollars, let me tell you, I paid a lot more than that for them. Else have we got in here? Yorkie bar, round trees Yorkie bar, nice pieces, solid pieces of chocolate, not for girls. I love that because the wife hates me when I say that. It's fantastic. Whisper bars went for a variety this time. Uh, yeah, I do appreciate. It. You probably can't see this. There'll be pictures. I'll just have to keep cutting in and out while I'm doing it. Cadbury's flakes because sometimes you've got to have the flakiest milk chocolate ever. Chunky Kit Kats, exactly what they say, Kit Kat bar, but bigger. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, and last, but by no means least, a Crunchy Bar. It's a slightly denser version of sponge candy with chocolate on it. And a little Jolly Goods voucher in there as well, because they like to look after you. So, yep, yeah, that is the unboxing of the British stuff. And that pretty much winds it up for today. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know why. Got any questions, ask Uncle Dave. I believe that's going to be right there. Um, if you didn't like it, hit that thumbs down. Let me know. Tell me why. I'll see what I can do. And until then, we'll uh, see you later. Toodly doodlies. Bye.